So I'm going to ask you, Alex, to start the meeting. You just need to call the meeting in to order. All right. I'd like to call uh, this morning's meeting to order. Oh, I need a time. At 9.06 a.m. So I can screen share the agenda so folks can see. You should check in to see if people can hear you. Um, Jenny, I believe this audio is fine. My audio is okay. Can you can hear me? Yeah. Yes. And I can hear everybody except for Susan. Yes, which I'm a little bit concerned about. And I'm, I've emailed her as well. Let's see if there's something else I can do. No, sometimes there's a feature that says ask to unmute, but it is not showing up for her. Susan, do you see the closed captioning? Let's see, maybe I can do this. Let's see if she sees that. That's clever. <laughs> it's my last, <laughs> my last resort. Okay. Can you see me typing? Alex, did you see me? Can you see the new words on the? Yes. Okay. No. Yeah. 
I don't want to like re hard remove her. That feels mean <laughs> for her to be able to come back in, right? Like that doesn't feel very good. Okay. So I do, um, we do have the agenda up. I'm, Don't know really what to do here. My screen share is loading. Do you see the agenda? Yeah, it's just small. It's small? Yeah. I can make it bigger. Thank is that you. better? Yeah. So Alex, I just need you to read the paragraph up at the top. Yep. With the extension of chapter 20 of the acts of 2021, this meeting will be conducted via remote means. Members of the public who wish to ac access the meeting may do so via Zoom or by telephone. See instructions below. No in-person attendance of members of the public will be permitted, but every effort will be made to ensure that the public can adequately access the proceedings in real time via technological means. Susan Crutch, can you now hear us? No. Okay. Um, I do have an announcement. So this would be my last Munson Memorial Library meeting as your staff liaison as I'm leaving um, the town. Ooh. So my last day will be May 4th. And I think that Jeremiah will be handling the Munson Library for a bit. Is that correct, Jeremiah? I believe so, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Susan, is that you? Can We can hear you. Hi. I'm not sure how, but I got sound. Oh, <laughs> excellent. Yay. I had no idea what was going on, but I could not get it to save my life. So. <laughs> okay. Um, did you hear my announcement? I just did. Okay. That's great. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Um, so that was my personal announcement. Alex, do you want to <laughs> go through and... Uh, um, I, I, go over the agenda review. Yeah. So, um, so that we're in reports and comments. Uh, we'll accept public comment and receive trustees' reports. Um, number three, we'll uh, have action and discuss items. Uh, the items for discussion are building reservations, building maintenance, building updates. Uh, then we'll discuss when uh, to schedule the next meeting. Um, we'll open up for other topics. The chair did not reasonably anticipate 48 hours in advance of the meeting. And then we will adjourn. Um, just a note on public comment. During the public comment period, the chair will recognize members of the public when called upon. Please identify yourself by stating your full name, preferred pronouns, and residential address. Residents are welcome to express their views for up to three minutes. At the discretion of the chair, based upon the number of people who wish to speak, no speaker can cede their time to another speaker. The CSSJC will not engage in a dialogue or comment no matter raised during public comment. That's that copy and paste scenario, right? <laughs> yep. Let's change that. Yikes. Um, okay, so are there any more announcements from the group? Any of the members? No, Jenny, are you baking? I, it looked like you were baking. <laughs> I am, sorry, Passover is tomorrow and I am working till eight tonight, so I'm trying to do this now. Oh, but I'm not here. a problem, it, you know. Um, so do you guys wanna open up to public comment, sure. Alex? Yes, let's open up to public comment. So we have one attendee. Good morning, Hello. Maria. Good morning. Can you guys hear me? Yes. 
Awesome. Thank you. So, uh, hi there. Um, so I have been um, dialing into some of the JCPC meetings um, and I saw a, a presentation by uh, Jeremiah, but it was kind of gen about generally all the, um, the buildings that he's caring for. And I was just wondering if uh, you guys have any updates about any of all the, the improvements that, that you've been talking about for the months and um, how they're folded in. Um, it's, it's a little bit general these days. It's not, it, he's, uh, seems to be asking for money, as you know, in, uh, to take care of everything, but, uh, wondering how the, the financial, the, the funding part of all the really necessary projects of the months in, uh, are being taken care of and, and being addressed in the upcoming budget. So, uh, it's budget time. So just looking for an update there. Thank you so much. Thanks, Maria. Thank you. I think, um, you know, maybe we'll hold on. I, I don't know. I, I'd like to suggest holding on responding to that. Maybe Jeremiah can respond to that during the uh, building update section. Um, if we want to keep it open for, is there anyone else uh, that we no. have wait for public comment? No, there's not. Okay. Well, maybe we, unless any of my fellow trustees want to want to comment on that, maybe we just skip right on ahead to a building update from Jeremiah. That's fine. Sounds good. Jeremiah. All right. Um, maybe he had to step away for a moment. I think he's okay. he just having some work done on his vehicle. So okay. I can give a quick no, update because we Jennifer, did... so, sorry, oh. I'm, I am here, but unfortunately I didn't hear it because my car drove by. So oh. my, my car, my, this call got picked up on, on my car. Oh, so I, yeah, the, exactly. the, the beauty yeah. of it, but also the, uh, <laughs> the challenges of it. <laughs> so, uh, um, what, so the... what was, yeah, so so Maria Maria had a a, a question yep. about um you know just general bit she said that she she attended the uh, Jones Public Library um, meetings and she said you you gave a presentation on on kind of you know the general status of of the uh, yes uh, of the libraries she was wondering if there was a little bit more sp uh, specific update for um, the Munson building. And if you could provide any sort of update on, on the items that we had discussed at last meeting. <clears throat> Certainly. So um, so at the big, beginning of this week, um, and that's pretty much a priority for the day, is uh, I am working with uh, Stephanie Ciccarello. Um, uh, we're put, putting together uh, the request for some sustainability funding. I, I don't I'm, I apologize. I don't recall which which um, department or program it it is uh, from, uh, but it is for I think around seventy six thousand dollars. And and the the request is to essentially say that yes, we still have a need and we would like to use it. And where we would like to use it is the Munson Library, and that will be for uh weatherization uh so i i know that we there was discussion about the hvac system uh, but i really would like to have the weatherization addressed um prior and it seems to be a, a, a kind of a focus right now is let's let's get the envelope uh, uh as efficient as possible uh before we put in the new technology so that we can benefit um, the most from that technology. Um, right now, the, the attic space above the hall and above the library uh, has between six and eight inches of insulation. And I need to essentially triple that uh, to, to have it be adequately insulated. So that will be the focus now once the weatherization is done. Uh, I will be switching to uh, looking at replacing the HVAC system. 
Um, I've already put together drawings and bid documents for both the, the decommissioning and demolition of the existing system, uh, as well as the procurement uh, of, for the design build of the new system. Um, so just not, not necessarily a, a shift, but just the, you know, just trying to prioritize all of the different elements of uh, making the Munson um, just more efficient, uh, more efficient building. So um, that, that's that's where um, I'm at with that. So there's there's not there wasn't necessarily any specific capital funding requests called out for months and necessarily. Um, in that though, with the all buildings, it allows for me to uh, make makes any necessary upgrades. It also helps extend projects. So if I'm, you know, say doing, you know, flooring upstairs, for instance, you know, I can go, well, you know, while we're here, why don't we just do the flooring downstairs as well? So it, it does allow for some more flexibility. Um, and I I also requested funding for roof replacement and repair. Uh, Munson does need, need some uh, slate roof repair. Uh, so I would likely be addressing that as well just get, get the build, building more efficient, get it weather tight, and then we can address the HVAC. So any questions? Thanks, Jeremiah, for the uh, thorough update. Uh, unless there are any questions for Jeremiah, maybe we talk about. Um... Well, I, I do have a question. Oh, yeah. um, uh, the timeline for any of this, like when we'll know um, when we have the money allocated, when work can begin, how long it will take. Any information about that? Not necessarily. Um, so once once we um uh secure the funding um which is which is 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 funding that we are, we essentially already have we we just need to state it's it's sort of like a use it or lose it <laughs> um so we we just want to uh you know state that this is this is what we're, we're looking to use it on uh at that point i've started i i've started the procurement for um uh, doing the the weatherization and uh, uh, some basic drawings with with that those documents we could go out um, uh, out to bid um, and I would say you know if if, if all goes well uh, yeah it, I, it could be a couple months three months maybe um, depending on how busy procurement is to get that out there um, cause it would, it would go sealed bids. So I would say maybe three months if, if we started that now, um, to a contract, have a, a contract with, with a company and then it would be scheduling their work. So probably, you know, through the summer by, um, late summer, early fall, have that weatherization taken care of. That would be great. Thank you. Um, I have a question that has nothing to do with the interior. Just a question about the um, exterior, Jeremy. Um, I was wondering about the, um, the space between the library and the um, church. How far over does the town own and how far over does the church own? Where the driveway between the two is? It's pretty much i'm tr it's pretty much like on the edge of the driveway i, I believe because I'm, I'm thinking the pin the pin is right there on the corner of the driveway mm -hmm. and the, and the the hedges and it goes back to uh this those small trees where there's a, a this little swale um towards the back parking lot of the church so it essentially follows the asphalt okay um, we, my staff and I have been uh, cleaning up the yard last week 
and we are looking at um, trying to reduce that hedge, get rid of some of the 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 elements that have sort of invaded, uh, rather than you know it being a, a specific ornamental. So we're going to try to clean that up, cut it back some, and uh, just make it a little, just do that out, outdoor beautification. Well, I, I don't want to um, tell anybody how to do their job, but I'm just curious if if, if those things are just cut back, um, they're just going to come back. Um, there's a lot of really bad, um, evasive things in that. And I was just wondering if there's, in my opinion, the only way to, to, to clean that up is to get rid of those things. You've got to, you can't just cut it back. I'm sorry, I was just curious as to um, how, if we have any chance of that happening or will it just get like brush hogged and cut back? Well, I, I would say that I'd, I would like to probably uh, bring in um, Alan um, Snow um, and, and just sort of bring him into conversation. We have in the past, um, cut back and also eliminated at, uh, uh, hedges at other facilities. And uh, unfortunately, we, we, we got a lot of negative comments um, from community members. So I, I just want to be sensitive to, to that and, and see what, what can be done um, in the most, you know, uh, I, I suppose the best, the best fashion. And, and, and I, I would, I would have to sort of lean on Alan for, for that is that's really his uh, area of expertise. All right. Thank you. So I would just um, say that one of the things that I received an email about was the contra dancing folks are scruffing the floor. So I don't know, Jeremiah, how to prevent that other than not having them um, not use the Munson. Any ideas how to prevent that? Not necessarily, um, but maybe, you know, just having a conversation and, you know, I, I would say is if you, if you look at most um, rec departments, municipalities, you can you can uh, rent, you know, school gyms and they typically have something that asks them to not use marking shoes. And so maybe we can do something similar. I mean, I, mean, I know that's not that's not a preventive uh, measure, but it, I would hate to. I'd hate to close the doors on on any any group. Uh -huh. Maybe if if we can just work with them and and, and help uh, you know achieve positive outcomes that way. That's the way I would like to go. Sounds good. Um, does any, are there any other updates, Jeremiah, or does anybody else have any other questions? Uh, I suppose I do, but it, it's a different agenda item, like for reservations. So uh, I can comment on that but when we're ready. I was just about to ask Jeremiah. So unless anyone else has anything else, I think there was something related to key cards or uh, some sort of keypad on the side of the building. Correct. Yes. So I have all the equipment to uh, install the building access control system on all the exterior doors. So there'll be four doors that will be included on that for now. Um, I am working with IT just to, to ensure that the the infrastructure, their infrastructure can support that right now. And it sounds like it can. Um, so that is that is on the list uh, to get done. So I, I've already ordered all the equipment. I have it sitting in a box at my desk, and uh, it'll be a matter of having it installed. And then those doors can be programmed. Um, once that's done, uh, then we can start using 
uh, that keypad as a, a means to provide uh, these community groups with uh, access into the building without the need of creating badges or given uh, a physical key. That's great. Thanks, Jeremiah. Yeah, those Any are things questions? that make my wildest dreams come true. And like then I'm leaving. So I don't yeah. know what to say yeah. about that. Great timing. Great timing. <laughs> All right. Other than my sarcastic joke there, are there any other uh, comments? Questions? Alex, did you would you like me to update give the update on what we're looking at doing for reservations? Yeah, that would be fantastic. I, I'm sorry, I thought that was rolled into the uh, oh, the key okay. card. Piece. Sorry, yeah, but no, my, yeah, my apologies. Yeah. So, so I had a meeting uh, about a week or so ago, and it, and we're what we're trying to do is is automate uh, the reservation process as much as possible. Um, so we're we're not there yet but we're we're gonna try to build something out and our open gov platform so the open gov platform is what we're using for all of our permitting um and if we're gonna sort of use it as a, a combination of using open gov and the calendar that uh, jennifer has been maintaining um, and working with. So essentially a community member who would want to rent out the hall uh, or or the basement space can go on OpenGov, uh, can request uh, a time slot. And at that point, it would you could put in the information what it will be used for, what, what may be the needs, um, and then it'll have to be reviewed um, I'll do the reviewing process just to ensure that that time slot is available. And from there, uh, if once it's approved, um, it, there's a there's a, an opportunity to make the payments for that uh, reservation uh, through our online uh, system. So it, it helps because it will open up um, uh, uh, the, the municipality to being able to accept that, that credit debit um, in, in addition to, you know, the traditional cash and check that we've been doing. Um, unfortunately, OpenGov does not have uh, a calendar on it. So, so the individuals that's looking to uh, put in the reservations won't necessarily see right away if there is uh, that slot available, um, but we are working towards that as well. Uh, that would be more on the IT side. So we're, we're hoping to get there eventually, but for now, I think this will help streamline the process some. Can I just ask, um, how, like, because Amherst Rec has a calendar that you can use. Like, did anybody think about mirroring what they're doing? Yes, um, we we are looking at that as well. I, I think uh, Sean Hannon is looking at that and what what other options there might be. So it it could be that the calendar uh, lives somewhere on the town of Amherst website for for without you know we'll we'll keep uh, the information. Um, more generic, but at least they would see whether or not, you know, there's the slot is available. Uh, but uh, OpenGov doesn't have a calendar function within the software. Um, I'm not sure exactly um, what REC has, but I knew that did that did come up in the, the discussion uh, because uh, REC is adopting the same similar, uh, like a similar type reservation method for their fields. Okay. 
it sounds like progress, Jeremiah. Um, it's great to hear that we're moving towards, you know, a little bit more of a technological solution to to these reservation and, and, and access issues that we've we've had for, for several years now. Um, so I'm encouraged to hear updates at, at future meetings and, and see the uh, see what, what what you finally decide on going with and installing. That'd be great. All right. Is there anything else regarding building reservations, maintenance, or updates? No, nope, not for me. All right. Well, I think that leaves us just to set a date for our next meeting. And it sounds like that will be with possibly Jeremiah leading us um, on the behalf of town or maybe to be determined, but um, Jennifer, should we move forward with setting a date or should we wait until um, your replacement has been named? Um, <laughs> I would be happy to, um, if you guys pick a date post your next meeting, like just today, right after we get off and then, cause it's gonna have basically the same agenda. Okay. Um, although, well, maybe I shouldn't, but if you guys want to come up with a date, cause I'm not sure how that works. Cause then I would be in charge of the zoom link. So, um, yeah, maybe you guys could just pick a date and work with Jeremiah on that in the meantime. Okay. That sounds good to me. All right. So if we're going to look. Yeah, it works for you, Jeremiah. That's great. So if we were to look at a date in May, um, just because I want to keep the momentum moving here, um, Monday mornings work best for you, Jennifer, correct? It's Jenny, yes. That Jenny, sorry. Sorry, Jenny. <laughs> so what if we looked at maybe... Well, Memorial Day is the 27th. That won't be good. But maybe if we looked at um, Monday the 20th. I can do that. That'll work for me. Okay. 9 a.m. Mm -hmm. That's good. All right. Fantastic. And uh, Alex, um, when you decide to call the meeting, if you could just please make sure you announce the time. Yes, well. All right, I think that wraps things up. Um, I have no other topics uh, to review. Um, call on my fellow committee members. Anyone have any other additional topics? All set. Anything for me? All right. Well, I'm going to call this meeting adjourned at 940 a.m. Great. Thank you, Alex. And thank you, Jennifer, for everything you've done for Munson. Oh, thank you, guys. It's been a pleasure. I'm going to miss you. I'm going to miss you, Jennifer. Yeah. I'll see you guys around. Maybe I'll Maybe you guys will finally have an event at the Munson and I can pop up. <laughs> well, hey, no pressure. <laughs> have a good day, guys. All right. See ya. Bye. Bye. Bye.